just starting the day like every other day. Oh, sorry, my nose, my voice. But just starting the day with feeding everyone's favorite chub chub. He's got his blueberries. And let's uh let's do this thing. I thought in the spirit of Valentine's Day and love and healing and all that, um, yeah, let's do a little self-care. The reason I hate crying isn't just like about feeling my feelings. It's also about that I look like a wreck for a while afterwards. Like I get very puffy in my eyes and it's very noticeable. I kind of like look like Macaulay Culkin in My Girl after the bee attack. Um, but yeah, I started reading some tips online, like using steeped tea bags to like, you know, put on your eyelids and stuff. So I am going to jump in the shower and do some face stuff and then maybe try that tea thing. So I'm going to steep some green tea and uh, we'll see if putting the bags on my eyes re remove the other bags on my eyes. I don't know. I don't know. They said something about the caffeine activated in it. So again, disclaimer, don't do it with hot tea bags. They're supposed to be chilled or cooled. So I'm going to make some Valentines for my neighbors. So I bought some like candies and stuff like that. So I'm going to set that up as well. So people can have some sweet treats through the week because not everyone has a Valentine and you know, you just never know what people are going through. So happy Valentine's day, happy lunar new year. Happy Galentines, whatever you're celebrating, I hope you take a little time to celebrate yourself because life is wild. Love you. All right, we're gonna set this to like, I think like 175 activates things. The green tea I have is this roasted rice tea and it's got puffed rice in it, so maybe it'll help deep puff my face. I'm gonna do two bags, you know, two eyes. We'll see how that goes. Pour out some of the water. I don't think I just pour out the water in general. And then I'm gonna put this in the fridge. All right, so I put it in the fridge, so I just got like some tea bags. Oh yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, we're back. Um, I even cried a little for um, solidarity. <laughs> I took a shower and I went to Publix real quick to grab some ingredients. I kind of want to try to make um, crock pot baked potato, like loaded baked potato soup. <gasps> I know, don't even get me started. But I'm gonna check on the tea bags now. I don't know if you can see, maybe it's not, well no, I think we can see how, I'm pretty poofy. <laughs> I was um, re-watching the video I just edited and I mean, I, maybe it's just because it's me, but like watching me cry makes me cry and I thought like I've seen, I've played it back three times now, I thought I'd be like fine with it, but I just sent it off to for someone to preview it and like, nope, I wasn't ready yet. Um, so let's check on those tea bags. Should I be like lying down for this you think? All right, so we got our green tea bags. They were in the fridge for a while. It's pretty chilly. Should I leave these out for a bit? Should I, should I have Googled this better? Should I have actually looked into what I'm doing? I can't believe I'm about to just put like tea bags on my eyes. I just don't want my eyes to be yellow. I don't know if I thought this through. All right, let's see. Okay, that's our puff level. Oof worth trying i do love this is get matcha so like i was saying like it's puffed rice in here so i just thought it was like really on brand <sighs> this can't be a thing that people do often i mean just like lay it on there i don't know i don't want to having enough of a day People also say, we well, have just to keep up on this one for now. I'm not like, not one-eyed. But it's such a out there. I'd be like, bro, don't judge me. Don't get it, I'm judging me. All right, did that work? What do we think? Do we just convince ourselves that it's working? I mean, it looks less puffy than that one. Let's try it, let's try it over here. You know, I don't 
well guys really don't cry too often but it's like i just you know the things that women do to just go out in public without people being like girl you okay i'm not saying we deserve a medal i don't give a fuck i would just like a stipend you know and that's the trip right like we get paid less what's that about like at least give me like a tax deduction for like my well never mind we know the government <laughs> The government hates our ovaries, so we're not getting any like period pains, like, you know, um, pain and suffering throwback. All right, I don't know if I can do this. Does that fucking work? I feel like this one's better than this one. <laughs> that meme girl. I don't know. You get what you get nowadays, okay? I'm I'm sad. It just maybe that's what it is. I'll just start crying if somebody asks me if something's wrong. But I wanted to put makeup on. It was really the reason I wanted my eye, eyeballs to go back to their normal size. But does that fucking work? That's wild. Sorry, I'm like looking in the viewfinder for most of this thing, but it's like my mirror at the same time as this. It feel it feels like it worked. Wow. Tea bags, ladies. <laughs> I don't want to say that. That's that's not the tagline. <laughs> hey guys, it's your movie Maven Kai. Now, January went by like molasses. It just seemed to crawl. But February is going at breakneck speed. Last week we had Groundhog's Day. Tomorrow, Lunar New Year starts. Next week is Valentine's Day. It's crazy. So, Rusty asked me to do a little something for Valentine's Day. Now, if you're single as fuck, you probably don't want to see a big sappy movie. And if you're together with somebody, maybe you want to see a little romantic comedy. I have one that is good for everybody. Uh, it's from the early 2000s. It's called Get Over It. And it stars Ben Foster, Martin Short, Kirsten Dunst, Shane West, Colin Hanks. Like everybody is in this movie. Cisco, Vitamin C for some reason. Um, it was the early 2000s. Things happened. Uh, but it's a really fun movie. Uh, it's a high school, you know, thing where they are all friends and Ben Foster breaks up with his girlfriend and then his best friend's sister, who is, well, Colin Hanks and Kirsten Dunst, respectively, um, kind of, you know, got a crush on him and he ends up falling in love with her, but they're all in this thing. And, you know, his girlfriend leaves him for the cute new guy with the British accent. It's, it's crazy. Um, but it's one of those movies that I like to watch when I'm feeling kind of icky and then by the end of it I've laughed so much and you know gotten some heartfelt moments. Martin Short's absolutely brilliant in it um so it's a it's a good one you know pretty much for anybody. So um get over it. I believe that it's streaming on I want to say it was Pluto. I watched it the other day and then Rusty asked me to do this and I was like oh perfect I have just the right movie for it. Um, but yeah, so check it out. It's got a great soundtrack um, which happened a lot in the early 2000s, late 90s. Um, everybody's on it. Everything from, you know, Captain and Tennille to Vitamin C. So why not, right? Uh, get over it. Uh, next week we're gonna do, I think maybe The Color Purple. I haven't done anything for Black History Month yet and that's one of my favorite movies of all time. So I think that's where we're gonna go next week. If you wanna hear about it, if you've never seen it, catch up on it. Come and see me next week and we'll talk about it. Have fun guys. Happy Valentine's Day. I am drinking a poppy for the first time. This is the first poppy I've ever tried. I tried the Olipops and those were not for me. So everybody's been drinking these. This is the Doc Pop flavor. I love a probiotic, prebiotic, any otic. So I wanted to give it a shot. I picked this flavor because it matches our whole aesthetic here. We are going to be writing out little Valentines for my neighbors. I'm just gonna write like, to cutie or whatever, I don't know, probably different lovey names and then just say like from apartment, insert my apartment over here, but not for the internet. I feel bad because I'm gonna have to take my little table that I get. So I have a table out on my patio that most of you recognize as what I put the bird food on. Technically it's like a plant holder anyways. And with the way that Chubs be eating, maybe we're just gonna have to move to the whole patio table. This goes like, oh, I just threw the directions away, but I could figure it out, right? We're smart. Boop, boop. Because the basket's not really like Valentine's, you know what I mean? Like the basket's like easier for like the fun dips. 
we'll figure it out towards the end but just showing you where my head's at because it is all over the place but before anything we have to write nice notes so insert a montage of me filling out 50 some odd packets of sugar oh let's try this real quick before i put the music back on do you smell everything before you drink it or is that just me it smells like raspberry seltzer water somehow or some kind of Publix soda. I don't like that at all. I mean, even going into it thinking it was going to taste like off brand, almost diet soda. I think what we got to stop doing is trying to make how is this good for you? It's like apple juice and apple cider. Well, apple cider vinegar, I get that, but. Stevia, that, I knew it, man. I didn't want to look. I hate that fucking flavor. Two things I will always ask aloud. I'm really shocked I didn't. I was so overwhelmed by the gross flavor that I knew it was a, a super loose or some shit like that. But man, I hate stevia and fennel. Those are the two things, no matter what, if it's in a dish or a drink that is given to me, I'll go, I just pointed out immediately. They'd be like, is that fennel? I can automatically, does this have fennel in it? I could taste it in the yogurts and all. Like, I don't know why everyone like fucking leaned into that fucking flavor. So I think it's really funny to see all the jokes about like millennials and how we're like preserved from the inside from all the shit that we've eaten over our time because for real, all you raw, raw food girlies, you look 30 and you're 22 and I am going to be 39 in a couple months. So comment down below if you think I look 24 cause that would be um, great. Go ahead and write these out. I'm not drinking this, I, I'm gonna be dead ass with you. So I don't know what I'll be drinking, but it's like the flavor is still in my mouth and I think my mouth is like numbing. I could tell whatever, I can't, oh my God. It's like worse than like a weird, like a really bad shot at a really bad bar. All right, I was gonna drink a Coke, but I already had a Coke today and I only have one left and I don't wanna order more, so. So we're gonna stick with the tried and true. If you haven't seen me drinking my little banana milks, I get these from k &S, and they are a product of Korea. Banana flavored milk drink. Bebida de leche con sabor a platino. And these taste like like what you would expect, but not as artificial as you would expect, to be honest. I know it's not like fresh banana juice, but nothing hits. Way better than a fucking dog poppy. Mm -mm. All right, now it is time. Google, resume the music. I got these potatoes, five pounds of them. And I got them a couple weeks ago, so we got to do something with them. And yesterday I went to the store and I got what I believe I have enough to make a crock pot uh, loaded baked potato soup. I know it sounds like a bit, well, I guess it's not. It should be like a dump and go, but I'm gonna prep these potatoes. I think, I don't have a potato peeler, so. Would a cheese grater do the same thing? I mean, that looks right. Famous last words. I'm gonna pull up a recipe using my famous uh, sous chef, high demand lately. And we're gonna try to make some soup today. Confiost. Um, It is currently 10.10. That's probably lucky, right? I need something that's gonna use these more fucking potatoes. I mean, I guess I could make hash browns, right? It's not specifically cheese grater, it's just a grater, right? Am I wrong on that? I don't know. But stay tuned for another episode of Cooking with Rust. If you've watched any of this, you know I have no idea what I'm doing. And we're, I mean, I'm just lucky to be alive. Here we go. But 
hours later.